What's going on guys, Rocks and ADP here. And what I have for you guys today is a 122 kill game of domination with the Mana War. And it's got that nice looking ice camel on it. It's an epic camel I got recently. And it's on Stronghold is the name of the map. Almost forgot. Uh, in this game I'm running the Wraith, the Talon, and the Hater. And I'm playing in a party with two other people. And I know 122 kills might not be a lot compared to like a lot of other pub stompers you'd see. But for me, I think it's pretty good. It's not in a six-man support party of, like, you know, seasoned support runners. It's just me and a couple of my followers hanging out. And it's not, you know, hardcore, obviously, playing core, my regular core domination. Anyways, recently I've been trying to go for, like, 150 kills solo or in a small party. That's kind of a goal I've been setting. I think I'm going to start throwing on the wraps because that's something I quit running because people leave games. But honestly, I feel like... By the time they leave the game, I should be on a nice looking streak and hopefully more people join because I feel like they fix that matchmaking issue where people won't join your game in progress. But anyways, the commentary for today, I want to talk about something I saw on Twitter uh, today. The, there was an article that Apple posted, or not an article, but it was a, uh, a letter to their customers on their page. I'm not an Apple consumer at all, like I have an uh, iPod from like years ago, a couple iPods from like a long time ago. I don't have a smartphone. Some of you that watch my stream might know that. Some of you might not. Like, what? It's 2016. You don't have a smartphone? Yeah, I don't have a smartphone, and it's by choice. Like, I had a Galaxy Note 2 several years ago, but I felt like it took away from kind of just my, like, just being social. Like, when I would be out in public on my phone or, like, at dinner on my phone or, like, I go to a restaurant and I look around and I see everyone on their phones not talking to each other. thought it was weird. I played too many games on my phone. Didn't really use it for anything productive, so I got rid of the thing. But anyways, Apple put out this letter uh, today or yesterday. I think the article is from yesterday or the letter or whatever. But they put out this article. I keep calling it an article. Letter. They put out a letter to their damn customers. I got it right this time. But in the letter, they're talking about uh, security and encryption. Apparently, the FBI wants to work with Apple in developing a new form of their iOS software that like runs everything Apple and they want to take that software and make a version of it that the FBI can break into literally break into easily so any Apple device they can take this software and they can break into it but they only want to do it for one case apparently in December or November I can't remember exactly uh, if I pull up the letter right now it says there was a San Bernardino case it was a terrorist act and yeah last December and so FBI asked them for help in breaking into this person's iPhone and trying to find out, you know, some evidence. It won't wipe anything clean. They'll have a bunch of stuff in there. But Apple is actually refusing this offer because they feel like that technology and that, you know, encryption breaking software can be used terribly against, you know, our citizens and other people around the world that consume their products. And this is actually an interesting stand by Apple because... In the past, like the NSA and other organizations like that have been cooperating with, you know, Apple and you'd say like Facebook and Twitter, all these other things. They're easily going to give these people information. They're totally up for it. They're going to give these government agencies all this information, no questions asked. And I feel like that's pretty bad for, you know, your average citizen that wants his stuff to be private. Yes, I get it. It's the internet or, you know, you're... You're kind of giving up your privacy by having an internet connected device but at the same time it is very scary so i think it's cool that apple's actually taking this stand i want to know what you guys think about it and if you think it's for real do you think they're going to give in how do you think this will end i think it's very cool that a company like apple is actually willing to protect us even though they have such an opening type of product so just let me know what you think in the comments below and drop a like if you enjoyed twitter and twitch links are in the description Yo, um, I'm back. That was the end of the first commentary. I ended up doing this video like several times over the editing and the commentary both. It kept corrupting towards the end of the saving process because Movie Maker is old news, don't have Vegas, and it corrupts my files all the time if I edit it too much. So I spent a lot of time messing with this video. Um, I'm sorry the commentary cut short. But I really do want to know what you guys think about this. It's a little more of a serious topic. Uh, let me know in the comment section your opinion on it. And also, if you want to see more serious videos like this. The gameplay, you know, not the best. But I'll work on getting better. And same with the commentaries. I'm going to keep working at these. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please drop a like on this video. 
It'll really help the channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.